So they give us a rational expression and they want us to simplify this. And the way that we simplify is factoring and dividing. So in the top, we're going to take out a GCF of 2. We're left with x plus 5. Can't simplify this numerator anymore. Now the denominator, we factor. We know it's going to multiply to give us 35. And when we add the factors, it gives us a negative 2. So I know 7 and 5 are going to be those two numbers. And if I want a negative when I combine, my larger number, 7, has to be negative. Now at this step, we're done factoring top and bottom, numerator and denominator. We can now use properties of fractions and cancel out common terms, x plus 5. So now what we're left with is 2 divided by x minus 7, right? And if they ask us for any restrictions, right, or talk about what x cannot be, we know that x cannot be equal to positive 7. Because when x is 7, 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. That is a undefined function, 